Thank you for being here with us today. I'm Megan and this is my husband, Michael. We have a very special practice for you that will include some live music. This practice is at the request of my patron, Sonia, who said, could you do a practice that would be uh, geared towards winding down and coming back into your body after a day of work? So let's explore that today. We're going to need a blanket, a thick blanket, preferably if you have some blocks and also a strap that closes. This very first part that I'm gonna be doing can be done standing if you sit all day, so if you need to stand a little bit, or it can be done on your knees as I'm doing now, and that's if you've been standing all day. So the gist of the practice will be that we're gonna basically go from the gross body or your physical body into your subtle body or your energy body the other way you can look at it is we're going to go from the macro, so all of the bigger parts of you physically, to the micro, those smaller things, those usually indetectable parts. So we'll start with a movement that will help us to cleanse and rid ourselves of the day. So either standing or coming onto your shins, if you're choosing shins, you're welcome to grab that blanket and slide it over and put it underneath your knees. Find a comfortable space, stack your ears over your shoulders, and just take a few breaths in your nose and out your mouth. Nothing pushed or frenzied, just comfortable in your nose and out your mouth. A way to cleanse through that exhalation in your nose and out your mouth. And then as you're doing this, Think if there's anything from the day, the week, that you would like to breathe out. It might be an event, a person that you're having difficulty with, and as we breathe them out, we can still send them love and light. But what's in the way of you coming fully into your body right now? Allow yourself this first part of the practice to engage in that which might hold you back. Where does your mind wander? If you let it go to the spaces that may have caused you difficulty. And then take one of those things at a time if you'd like, maybe there is only one if you're fortunate, and breathe in, reach your arms up like you're gathering it. And as you're breathing out, you're going to throw it down to the earth. So you can come down with your hands if you want more of a physical movement and round your back. Or if you'd rather just stay up here, you can gather it up and throw it down. So think to yourself, what is it that I want to rid myself of? And throw it down. And you'll notice we're doing a bigger, more full body movement perhaps. So if your mind is wandering off and not staying present in this idea of what it is that you're trying to gather and let go of, just feel your body moving. Sense your muscles and your bones. Recognize that the earth can take it, can take it all. And you can still be doing any kind of cleansing breath as we breathe out, we release the breath. We also release those negative thoughts, those things that might hold us back from being completely present in our body later in today's practice. But for now, invite them in. Give them all your attention. You can continue to move especially if you've been sitting all day. Or if you want a little bit of quiet time, you're busier at work, you're more physical at work, the next time you come down, just allow yourself to rest in that child's pose-like posture. If you wanna take the blanket and put it underneath your upper body for more support, you can do that. Staying present in, once again, the things that might hold you back
even if you're not doing the movement part, the physical movement, you're still breathing. Breathing in and in the mind's eye, seeing those things that we're ready to let go of. And the breath out, letting them go. Drawing your presence into the space of reality of what holds us back. In yoga, we call it the leela, the play of life. What was that play for you today or this week? What roles did you have to play? Acknowledge them. Be present in them. And perhaps something positive comes out of it as well can always delight in the positive. Wherever you are, I'm going to ask you to come onto the ground. You can move your blanket aside or you may keep sitting on it for more padding. We're going to stack our knees so that they're both pointing to the right. We're going to move just in a gentle twist with our torso. So placing your right hand on the ground Breathe in and reach the left arm up, lengthening through the left side, and as you breathe out, rotate to the right. And we'll go the opposite direction. Just feel your right hand that's on the ground, reach your right arm up, left hand outside the feet, and as you breathe out, rotate to the left. So we're just nice, easy rotations. Right hand leads to the right, left arm lengthening, Exhaling into the rotation. And then left arm leading to the left, right arm lengthens and rotating. Continue at your own pace with your breath. And feeling the wholeness of your torso moving, your head, your neck. So throughout the practice, I'm gonna give you opportunity to stop and be still. But if your mind isn't ready for that, if it continues to drift back towards those things that are keeping us separated from being present in our bodies, then keep moving. The movement creates sensation and the sensation is an opportunity for awareness within your body. However, if you'd like to stop in this one, next time your hand is to the right, your left arm is lifting, and you take that exhale, just pause in your rotation to the right. You can feel your rib cage, breathe into your diaphragm, sensing the whole circumference of your torso expanding as you breathe in, softening as you breathe out. What is it about this position that feels good for you? If you're choosing to still move, what is it about the movement that feels good for you? Beginning to let those thoughts that keep you separated from your own sense of internal awareness and just letting them melt away. Next time you breathe out, come out of the rotation if you're there. We're gonna take the right hand and plant it. And if you wanna change your leg position just slightly, you can bring your right heel up by your left knee in a Z sit. If that's not comfortable, stay where you are. We'll be using our left arm now on an inhalation to reach. And as opposed to rotating, reach and lengthen. And you can lean into that right hand for more support. And as you breathe out, come down. So inhale, lengthen through your left side. And exhale, back down. So a little more focused awareness physically, perhaps on the left side. What does it feel like to breathe into your left lung? Can you let this be a breath center practice? 
let the movement correlate with your breath or think breathe first as you feel that lifting and that levity of the breath gives you an opportunity to lengthen the left side. And if you feel like you've got more spunk today, again, maybe you're sitting all day and you want a little bit more, firmly plant that right hand. And as you breathe in and reach with the left hand, just lift off the ground a little bit, lift the pelvis up and breathe out and sit down. So choose what's right for you. It should be calming, creating just enough movement to have some sort of sensation to be present in. Or the other way is, it should make you smile. <laughs> Continue with the movement if you're enjoying that, or I'll give you an opportunity to relax. You can pull your blanket in, and next time you reach through that left hand, keep it elongated, thread your right arm through underneath with the palm facing up. You can rest your right cheek and ear on the blanket. Create a space where you feel long through the left side. Feel that space from the hip to the armpit. If you need more grounding, sense all the parts of your body that are supported by the earth right now, the right side. Always the opportunity to breathe in and see, feel, sense. The breath out can carry out anything that is of no interest to you, or if it's not in your highest good. See it leaving your body on the breath out. Use the feeling of your ribs, the length of your left arm to stay present. If you're still moving, join us on the ground. We're gonna roll over onto the abdomen, all the way onto the belly. Like you're rolling over in bed, nice and easy and calm. You can move the blanket away if it's there. Resting on your chin or your forehead, just lengthen your body for a moment. Wherever your arms wanna be so they're comfortable. We're gonna go into our legs more now. Specifically, we're gonna engage and tighten the backs of the legs and the buttocks and the low back. So starting with the left leg, bend your knee so your leg is in a 90 degree angle. And as you breathe in, push the heel up towards the sky and lift the thigh bone off the ground. Notice how as you do that, you'll feel activation through the back of the left leg line and into the buttocks. Just breathe out, let it come all the way down and just relax, you can even shake it out. Let's switch sides. Let's get friendly with our right leg. Bend the knee, push through the heel. As you breathe in, lift the leg up. And as you breathe out, let it come back down slowly. So we're gonna continue this motion just to get familiar with what our legs feel like. Maybe you can sense the size of your legs and the weight of the legs as you lift them up. Slowly letting them come down. Just that little bit of a, of a, like an argument with gravity. But then once gravity gets you, let it have you and completely relax. Maybe you can notice the way the fronts of the thighs are lengthening, the front of the hip crease stretching. What part of your body is presenting itself to you in this movement? And can you give it your full attention?
Finishing your last round. And this one will rest with the legs down. Gently shake them out. You can shift your hips side to side. See if you can just let the whole front body, the weight of the body, feel the support of the ground. Next, we'll slide our hands so they're about to the height of the shoulders. And you can either be on your palms or I like fingertips because it just gives more sensation. We're gonna stay low and think of just slithering side to side. So you might rock to the right side and rock to the left side. If you feel like you need a little bit more vitalization, you can also lift up into more of a back bend. Make some circles, but let your arms play a role in this. Feel the strength of your arms. Might be more comfortable to have them further back or forward, so check that out. We're letting the upper body play now, the arms and the shoulders. Last time it was the hips and the legs. Now take a look at your upper body, your neck, your head, and move. Can you be fully engaged in this movement of the upper body? Starting from the feeling of the fingertips or the palms on the ground. Feeling the energy of the ground coming up your arms, into your shoulders. You can be playful, you never need permission. Just reminders, be playful. Check to see you're keeping the legs and the buttocks relaxed. Always take a rest anytime you want. And this one we're gonna settle in again. But I'll invite you to take the blanket and you may keep it lower as it is, or you might want to double it up. Take the blanket and just gently stick it underneath your chest. So you're a little bit lifted into a soft back bend. You can rest your forehead on your blanket or your arms, chin on the blanket. Notice where you feel the compression of the blanket into your chest. Just above that space where your ribs begin to lift off the ground. Let your arms soften, the weight of the head supported. See if you can breathe into your upper torso, front side where you feel that compression of the blanket. The back side around the shoulder blades and the back of the heart. Maybe there's still a tingling sensation or just that feeling of a light, gentle fatigue of knowing your upper body was moving, that buzzing feeling and stay present in that. You might even feel your heartbeat going a little bit faster. We learn with these practices is it easier for us to stay present in movement or in stillness? And that can change from day to day. What's today for you? Last breath into your chest. And then use your arms. Press yourself up. do 
the twist to the opposite side. So our knees will be pointing to the left. You can just stack your legs. Find your tall spine with your ears over your shoulders and the shoulders resting over the hips. Use your left hand for support. As you breathe in, reach the right arm up. And as you breathe out, rotate from the waist through the shoulders and the head to the left. We'll switch it out. Right hand leads to the right. Inhale, left arm up. Exhale, slowly going to the right. It's like there's this intimacy that you can have with yourself in this motion. It's a very simple rotational motion. Noticing things like, where do you begin the rotation? Is it from your waist? your head. Can you feel the function of your breath expanding your waist and your side body? And as the breath leaves your body, letting you go into that rotation. All the while leaving those spaces of work behind. coming into this internal space that you are the only one that has access to and you have VIP access to any part of this internal space. If you're enjoying the movement, continue. If you'd like to take a stop and hold with me into the rotation, next time you lift your right arm, inhale up, feel your right ribs, breathe out and rotate to the left. And can you sit with yourself? If there's any self-judgment, my favorite word is interesting. My comparison is some days my being quiet in my body or the attempt to be quiet in my body is like being locked in a phone booth with a lunatic. Only the lunatic is me. Normalize it, it's okay. And come back into your breathing. Visualize the rotation of your spine. Next breath out, release the rotation. Take that left hand into a reliable place where it can support a little bit of your weight. Feel your right hand, and as you inhale, reach the right arm up and over. So more of a side bend now. And as you breathe out, take the right hand down. So starting with just this gentle side bend. Your legs can stay stacked just as they are, or last time I had offered that if you wanted to come into the Z-sit for a little more inner thigh stretch, the left heel comes to the right knee. Inhaling and reaching, and exhaling and releasing. A little bit more motion or movement as you inhale. You're welcome to lift your pelvis up, bring your thighs forward. That might feel good if you've been sitting all day. I feel like the grounding of feeling the earth under your sit bones, then stay there. Just focus on the easefulness of the side stretch. Remembering that the purpose of this practice is to calm. How much does the body need to move to have a calming effect on your mind? In other words, permission to do less.
going to get ready to do a rest on this side so you can grab your blanket. You used that successfully last time. Reach through the right arm and then slide that left arm through with the palm facing up. Come down onto your left side. Let your right arm reach. Left cheek and ear supported. Find a place where you can just be present in the right side of your body. It's physically opening itself to you. It's like it's begging for your presence. And you can meet it generously by breathing into your right lung. Picture your right arm or your leg, your hip, your shoulder. Whatever you picture, picture it inside of yourself. As best you can when your mind runs away. Bring it back. Let that beautiful music you're hearing flow in your body if you'd like. We'll slowly release the right arm down. The next movement is to roll on to our back side. Again, just gently like you're rolling in bed. You may want to remove the blanket. Keep your blocks and your strap handy. So I'm going to use my footwork to do that. Coming down onto the ground, let the torso fully rest. Place your hands on your abdomen or your chest. You can sense the way your entire backside is supported. Knees bent, feet on the ground. We're gonna move into the legs. Really the last physical movement before we begin to let ourselves still. And you could start with just one leg, lifting it up, moving it in any way you want. I'll make some specific suggestions. If you wanna make circles or go side to side, move the ankle, the toes, bend in and out of the knee, flex and extend the hip. Whichever leg you're moving, be fully present in that leg. And try the other one. Same movement pattern, different movement pattern. What are your other legs' requirements or needs right now? It's funny to think about your legs' needs, right? Give it a try. See if you want to take both legs up and gently bike pedal really slow. Maybe you're on an e bike so you don't have to work as hard. Those are big here. Easily pedaling. Where are you taking yourself to? So we begin to create an image. We're moving our legs and imagine you're on that bike. Where is it that you are going to? What is your ultimate destination? Begin to create that vision. Notice what you see, if there's any smells or sounds. You can actually see yourself. And if you don't, not a biker, you could be walking. Are you walking up or down a mountain? Is it flat? Are there trees around you? Are you there alone or with someone else? Just feel the way your legs are gently working for you. And 
create that healing image. Breathe it into your mind's eye. And as you breathe out, let it fill your body. All of the emotional and feeling sensations that you associate with that image, that space you're going. Let's take your legs down. We've arrived. So anytime you slip off now, continue to bring yourself back into that image. Keep building that image. We're going to take the blocks, keep them close by. And a very soft bridge pose, but we're going to do the bridge pose somatic style. So as you breathe in, you're going to gently press the tailbone down, the shoulder blades down, so the weight of the body is resting in your tailbone and your shoulders and your back is arched. As you breathe out, you're going to lift tailbone and shoulders, and you might even lift the pelvis off the floor. So you're inhaling, your front body is lengthening, your back body shortening. You're exhaling, your front body shortening, and your back body's lengthening. Think of your image. Your image might be going in and out of your mind in a wave-like pattern. And your spine is creating this wave-like pattern, just like your thoughts themselves. If you're looking for more, remember the option to lift the pelvis on the exhalation. Let your head just float along with the spine. Coming back into the center of your body. those blocks nearby we're going to be taking the blocks and putting them underneath our pelvis but what I also recommend is that you pull in the blanket so if it's not too too much bother take the blanket put it underneath your back so that it starts right about above your waist you're going to want some longer blanket up that comes over your head do a few more of those arch and curls and now notice if you can get your pelvis off the ground and how far it wants to come comfortably so if you're lifting way up then you can support higher but if you're just barely lifting that's how where we want to support so i'm going to use one block to show this is a nice easeful position for me if you feel like you want two blocks and it's comfortable to go up a little higher then do that but not forcing it we're just getting the pelvis above the heart. And then you're gonna take the end of the blanket, if you've got that end there, fold it over so your head is slightly lifted, chin towards your chest. And check to see the blocks are right across the wide part of your buttocks, not on your low back or on your sacrum. So you feel that support, blankets underneath your shoulders. Your hands can be at your sides or on your body, feeling the rhythm of your breath, those waves of breath. So I like to keep my legs bent. I'll give you a few more options because we're going to be here for about five minutes. If you're lower and it's comfortable to stretch the tops of the thighs, you can extend your legs. You'll get a big stretch through the tops of the thighs. But if you've been sitting all day, this is the area that might need it. So as I said, I like my legs bent, a little bit more pelvic lift. So play with these for just a moment so you can really settle. But what I do then is to take the strap. Here comes the fun part, to lift your legs off the ground. Put the strap around your feet and your thighs. Make sure you have access to the buckle. Let your feet come down and widen your feet apart and let your knees fall together so that the strap is sort of gently hugging your knees together, but you can feel the grounding of the strap on your heels, holding the lower part of your body in towards the middle. Think of all of that energy sliding towards your heart center. 
the pelvis and the head slightly lifted above the heart. What was that image that you were riding towards earlier? And if you didn't create one then, you can try now. Maybe it's a favorite place you go to. Might be something you make, something you do with your hands, or just being with a, a person that supports you, appreciates you. Continue to see that image in your mind's eye and as you breathe out, sending it into your heart. Can you connect that image? Make a movie screen in your mind with the energy of your heart. Using all your senses. What do you see? Is there a smell? Sounds, or maybe it's quiet. Any sense of touch or taste. As you continue to ascend that image of peacefulness, that winding down sensation is there. And we now have the ability to reach any part of our body with that image. And see if you can send it from the overflow of your heart. If there's a physical part of your body that's been nagging you, create the energy of that image in your heart center Anahata Chakra, that healing space, and send it throughout those spaces in your body that are asking for your awareness, for your love, or even just your consideration. there's still any nagging thoughts present, do the same. Meet those thoughts with the power and the delight of that image you've created. There's no longer a need to throw them away. Instead, we've come into this space in our heart, the space above that Lilo, that play of life, where we can offer any of those unsatisfactory images or experiences, our full kindness and acceptance. Taking yourself into that space of wholeness, support, just by recreating this image over and over again. Think of your breath, the prana, that life-giving energy, and the seed of prana in your heart. It's overflowing with this image, so much so that you can send it anywhere in your body, and even out beyond your body, perhaps to the people or the situations that have been difficult for you. Coming 
back into your body is coming back into this space of self-love and healing. And it's the energy we use for our own healing as well as the ability to send it out to others. Before we close the practice, if there's anyone specific that you want to send this overflow to, please do. Picture them in your mind, feel them in your heart. And know that every part of your body, from the gross to the subtle, is on board as you send out that one and light. To yourself as well as to others. Wherever your final resting place may be, just take your hands and place them on your heart. You've got the strap on and remove your feet. You can lift up and remove the blocks from underneath you. Let your heart come back on the same level as your head, your pelvis. and you've come back into your body. Please invite yourself to stay here longer, maybe even with your hands on your heart. There's an offering of gratitude for slowing down and recognizing this healing space inside of you. Beyond the movement, beyond the physical and into that deeper realm of self-knowledge. Whenever you're ready to come out, please feel free to. You can roll to your side first. for joining us today. On behalf of Michael and I, we appreciate working together and offering you a, a space to replenish, and I hope that this was successful for you. Thank you specifically to Sonia for making the recommendation, to my patrons, and for all of you who support us. Peace, joy, love, and light.